Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diamond, aka Lady Leo. So welcome if you are brand new and welcome back if you are a returning villa. Vi <laughs> if you are a returning viewer, Ugh, I cannot talk today. <laughs> so this is part of my Hollow Taco uh, series that I'm doing in July. So we are going to Hollow Taco Polish Mountain. Well, we're going up the mountain. We're not fully, it's not a full Polish mountain. Um, but if you remember Polish mountain, I do believe it's kind of how Christine got sent into the stratosphere. I think she was sort of decently popular. She did two Polish mountains. Um, I don't remember how far apart they were, but there was, there was a difference in terms of what they looked like. I don't remember how many coats. It's been a long time since I watched the OG videos, but I know she did two Polish mountain videos where she's just, you know, layering literally hundreds of coats of nail polish on her nails and it gives this sort of like bubble effect. I've never actually gone to Polish Mountain myself. I do have quite a lot of nail polish now so I think it could be something fun to do like maybe like spin the wheel like in any brand that I have over 50 bottles of nail polish um, can go to Polish Mountain. Maybe we could do something if that if this video is popular let me know if you would see, want to see something like that. Um, but anyway so in, in honor of celebrating Holo Taco and kind of how I got exposed to Christine, which was through Polish Mountain, the second one to be exact, I wanted to go to Polish Mountain myself for Holo Taco. Now, a couple things to remember before I send it over to the voiceover. I am not swatching these, so I'm not gonna be putting like the name of the polish in there at all because this is not a swatch and review. It's really like a speed and just to get to Polish Mountain so you can see that bubble effect on my nails. Also, I was originally going to do all of my Holo Taco polishes, then I took them off the shelf and then I sort of laid them out to do my other videos and I was like, I have 145 bottles of nail polish. That would probably take me at least three to four days because if you think about it, you do a swatch and even if I were to let the nail polish dry for like two to three minutes in between each coat, it's not gonna be fully dry because it's just, it takes time for it to fully dry. So it'll still be wet. And even if I took, if even if I did like three or four minutes, it would take me, I'd probably only get through 10 to 15 bottles an hour. So it would take me a solid three to four days to go to Polish Mountain for my entire hollow taco collection. So I did cap it at 50. I did 50 coats of hollow taco. I just picked them at random. So I tried to mix some of the cremes with the glitters, completely picked them at random. They're not in any specific order uh, as well. So 50 is a lot to me. <laughs> that still took me several hours to do. And I even had to do some surgery to keep the nail polish from like cascading off my nails because I was going for speed and not giving enough dry time. Again, not sure if it would matter because when it compounds on itself, the nail polish, it's just heavy and it does what gravity does. So it goes off the sides. It doesn't matter though. So I'm going to roll it to that voiceover footage. Actually, there will, actually, I'm going to roll it to the Hollow Taco Polish Mountain. There's no voiceover because it's not a swatch and review. So you can see me layering all of that Hollow Taco Polish Mountain. And then I'll show you the finished product as well. Okay, take it away.
Alrighty. So how did you guys like Polish Mountain? It does create a sort of a bubble effect and oh my gosh, my nails were so heavy. <laughs> they were just so heavy. I could physically feel all that nail polish like sitting on top of them. It was a lot of fun. I don't know. I, if I don't know if I'd ever get to the point where I would be able to do Polish Mountain for like all of the Hollow Taco polishes, that would probably take me several days of genuinely letting it dry, you know, all that sort of stuff. I don't have the patience or the time to do that, but maybe somewhere in the distant future it could happen. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. I'm going to link my playlist with all of the Hollow Taco videos I'm doing for July. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you later. Bye!